like I probably have antibodies. Like either naturally or I already had it before this whole thing broke out. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Inga and I'm 28 years old and a German mom living in America. If you are new here, please don't forget to head over to my Instagram. I usually post there daily. Some days I'm a little lazier than others, but usually I have a story or two up at least a day. Anyway, also follow me on TikTok and all the other channels. My name is usually Inga Nash or Inga Nash with an extra H on the end, at the end. Um, yeah, otherwise let's hop into this video. Like you can see already on the description of the video, um, we are flying to Germany, Sophia and I, and we are packing or I'm packing and I, so today is Friday, we're flying on Tuesday. This video is going to take a couple days because I need some time to make sure I got everything I need, all the necessities. So the first way I start usually in packing for flying internationally is making a list of what I need, what I need in my suitcase, what I need in my backpack, because those are obviously two different things and uh, you know, different of different importance. But I will show you my list one sec. So this is my list. Like you can see, this is the stuff for the uh, suitcase, the backpack, and then the papers that I need. Um, since we are flying internationally, it's a little bit more stressful, a little bit more things that I need to do and take care of and have to make sure I'm taking with me, especially because I'm not an American citizen. Um, yeah, so the second thing I usually do because I usually don't have all the stuff at home that I need is going to Target get the little travel size things that I usually need for the first couple days. Especially I'm gonna visit family, everybody is gonna have stuff for me anyway. I just need some things, you know, little things in case there's like something going on. So you need to travel in general, like one of these Ziploc bags. Then also my cousin asked me for some variety of Oreos because I'm guessing in Germany they usually only have the regular one or the double stuffed one, I'm guessing. Also, it's a little bit more expensive, even though Oreos are not super cheap here in America either. So birthday cake and carrot cake is what I got her, like some special flavors. I got a travel toothbrush, a little travel, what is that called by the way? Um, yeah, that's what I was, would have called sponge. I don't know. So my husband calls it some other name, I forget. Anyway, so I got a couple th thumbs in case I get a heartburn. Obviously shampoo and conditioner and then some deodorant travel size. I got some Listerine. I got some for Sophia, some shower stuff just in case. Some lotion for her, travel size, toothpick, uh, flossy things, and obviously hand sanitizer. Yeah, so these are the things I needed to get, and then I will get onto packing probably tomorrow. So I will obviously take you along uh, tomorrow for my packing.
so it is Monday now and I did not finish packing everything yesterday because obviously some things I have to wait till today or tomorrow to pack. I basically packed the big suitcase with all our clothes and all the stuff that we don't need in the airplane necessarily. So that is done. The only thing and most of my papers are packed up too or our papers um, the only thing that is missing is the Einreisemeldung which is basically telling like filling out a form online kind of like when you fill out as a European the ESTA visa it's basically saying where you're gonna be living and the airplane that you're coming in with and stuff like this. It is for COVID purposes, obviously. Um, so they know that you have a negative test and all these things. If you're interested about it, I'll leave the link down below. Otherwise, I will also have to get the COVID test done today, which was so much trouble because they say they want a PCR test, which is, I don't know. I don't know. It needs to be sent to the lab. I don't know. To be honest, what the difference between an antigen test and a PCR is, maybe some of you know that and can leave me that in the comments below so I know. But um, with the PCR test, it takes about two days to get the results. And with flying to Europe from America with time difference and flying this long flight, which is about like 10 hours long with me getting on the plane here in Tampa and then having a stop in Dallas is hard because you have your COVID test is not allowed to be older than 48 hours off uh, like upon arrival which I can't get that PCR test because that needs to be sent to the lab and takes a while. I called the airline and they said it's fine also like with an antigen test which is basically a regular uh, COVID test which they have as a rapid test. And I will get that done today after work around 4.50. I have a reservation at this place called AFC. And then they give you the results within like 10 to 15 minutes after the swab. I need that in order to fill out my Einreisemeldung. Uh, and then I will finish packing today and tomorrow and tomorrow i'm off all right you guys so i almost forgot to uh video this i'm waiting at the at the urgent care place to get my covid test i had to pay freaking 80 dollars for it which sucks because it's the rapid i guess that's what she said i was like oh i thought it's free everywhere now but she said, yeah, the PCR, PCR, whatever it's called, is free. The one that you wait a couple days for. And the other ones are not. So, yeah. That's the thing. And now I'm waiting for them to call me so I can go in and they can stick the Q-tip up my nose. And then I'm off to go home. Do the Einreise whatever Zeug that I said earlier and then finish packing and then have dinner and go to bed. Okay, so <clears throat> this time, fuck, <laughs> now I know what people talk about it. Doesn't really hurt, hurt, but dang, it pushed tears at my eyes. She kept it in there for so long. Dang. Anyway, waiting on the results now. It should be like 10 minutes or so. And then I can go home. So I am back at home. And of course, you know, guess what the test result said? Of course, negative! 
I and I was like, could have told you that without the test. I have a feeling like I probably have antibodies. Like either naturally or I already had it before this whole thing broke out. Eat some snack a doodle doos and some snacks for me too. Hi, hi. So I totally forgot to do the outro again. So here we are. I am already in Germany now, but anyway, this was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I will see you next week. Bye.